today. This is number one. This was the first image that I uploaded on my server. Why? Uh, my goal is to get a better web developer, and in the, uh, at the middle of the year, I didn't knew how to do it. So what steps should I, should I take at all these frameworks? So my action is to just make one, just make one CSS SVG image a day. And they are good days, like this, where the color scheme is really coming together quite well, or the minimalistic image here. But there are also bad days, where the color scheme is not fitting at all, and you don't have a clue till you ask an artist and he's explaining it to you. But the thing is, you're, you're getting experience every single day. And I want to share some of these experiences with you. First, browser support. In the last talk, we heard something about grid system, and I also did the same thing here. It's just with grid system, and I rotated it into an angle till this image came out. And there are small gaps in between, and at this time, Safari was not supporting the gaps as good, so I had to make a hack around it, so always check the browser support. Also, I'm working a lot with the CSS and SVG fonts because I think you can create great, minimalistic, expressive things just with fonts. Um, and the good thing is they are so small and have a small footprint um, from transferring da data. But the best thing is when you're doing something every day, for example here, um, I experimented with some um, backgrounds in CSS, that you can create your own functions with uh, preprocessors in CSS. And then you have your own CSS shared library with all of your projects, with all your accumulated knowledge all over the place. So it's really, really handy and really, really cool. So what are the takeaways? First thing, failing is completely normal. It's part of the process. Second, when you break down a big challenge into small, fun activities, like in my case, to get better at all these different web technologies and break it down to just one step a day, one image a day, then it's much, more, uh, much easier to achieve. Also, practice on a real-life project that you can show around, show to other people, show to an artist who can give you feedback, show it to someone who is better in technologies than yourself and get some feedback how you can do these things. But the most important part is to act. Not just listen to talks, not just read books, but to act on something to realize something. And take one step a day. This is... Uh, the image from this morning, um, 143. You can all look them up there. Thank you very much.